Welcome back to Sledhead 24-7. I'm your host, Carly Applin. Rock Speed FX did a special Articat build for the outdoorsman. Let's find out more. This is our uh, latest feature build that we've done for, our, for one of the OEMs. This is Articat Bearcat 3000, the 2016 model, 704 stroke. Kind of the, the feature on this is the uh, snow camo stealth look. Uh, we put it into the seat, custom seat cover. I also had a digital uh, wrap done by Blown Concepts. We took the two timber snow camo and um, applied it to the seat and the wrap. It's kind of the idea was is when you're out hunting the varmints, kind of be as stealthy as you as you can be. New features on it. It has our our Rox uh, FlexTech handguards on it with a custom cover. One of the additional features of this handguard, besides protecting your hands, is the fact that it kind of creates a heat pocket for your hand. Um, I particularly don't like riding with big thick gloves on. It kind of wears your hands out, wears your forearms out. I like to have a thin glove, and with these handguards on, it makes the wind go past the, the top and the bottom, and kind of gives you that heat pocket, as we say, so you can wear thin gloves with hand warmers on. Our new BPR block risers. This one is an eight inch riser. We make it out of an extruded material that uh, we own. Another nice feature that we did on this sled was we added a GPS holder. So, so uh, either a cell phone holder or a GPS. We like to use a GPS when you're out in the trail, when you're out uh, cruising around in familiar areas or you're out hunting and going through the woods. The uh, last thing you want to do is get lost, so we got a nice feature um, of this cell phone holder uh, or GPS holder on the, mounted on the risers. One of the things that we really wanted to put on this rig was the ability to have a spotlight, so to speak. And uh, we wanted to have it up high enough that it would really uh, be a usable thing by the, by the rider, by the user. So uh, one of those features is the fact that when you turn the handlebars in your seated, seated position, now you can actually point the light to wherever you, you want to see. So by turning the handlebars, it turns the light and you can project out to where you want to possibly go or if you hear something you can turn the handlebar and then when you're done you simply pull the lever fold it down out of the way lock it back in place and you're good to go now it's not in your way another feature that we did is we put on a custom bumper from Articat uh, you can buy that from their accessory catalog that is a Kind of a bigger bumper, Bearcat bumper, made for uh, you know any stump jumping you might do or any, any hidden logs you might encounter. Uh, it has their new 10-8 ski that is made to, to float on uh, the deep snow. Well, one of the things you got to have if you're going to make an ultimate hunting rig is you got to have a gun scabbard. So what we did is we went in the accessory catalog, already Cat came out of there with uh, the. Uh, gun scabbard and all the mounting hardware and retrofitted it onto the, the rear bumper. Uh, another thing we've done is retrofitted this with an auxiliary tank. This is the new 704 stroke and it gets pretty good mileage so we've added a, a few more gallons to the back so you can really go long haul uh, hunt that little coyote down. Uh, we also put a bag, a nice bag in the back that fits right in and the Procline boards, we've cut them apart Cut apart the boards on the sled and put Procline boards on it uh, by utilizing some uh, adapters on both sides. Kind of a really cool feature uh, is the fact that we put rear uh, reverse lights on this. So when you hit the reverse button, the lights come on in the back. And we also have uh, hidden lights underneath the tunnel and underneath the A-frame or the A-arm uh, wells. Uh, really proud of how this thing turned out. Whether you're checking the trap line or towing your ice house, that build fits any outdoorsman on a mission.